health cbd is fantastic yeah so. and no psychoactive effects too you know yeah because so that's the that's the that's the freaking stigma behind mm-hmm. it. it's like oh it's marijuana it's weed and yep. it's yeah, you we were know, talking about marijuana before the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> should yeah. I smoke? And I was like, I was don't like, do it. I'm like, I'm coming on Joe Rogan. Should I smoke no, the show? No, no, champ. <laughs> no. We want you we want you lucid here. I want you going no. in the hole. The problem is like when people don't get high and then they get high in a pressure situation like this, you're just like, yeah. you go into that tunnel. You're like, yikes. Oh, my God. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, um, I've, I've tried. I've smoked four times in my life. Yeah. How did that go? Uh, not good. I mean, the, freaking <laughs> <laughs> the first time uh, was my 24th birthday. 24th birthday, uh, I smoked with, uh, who was it? A couple of friends of mine at the Olympic Training Center. And it didn't do anything because I don't even know how to, I don't know how to hit the blind. I don't know. How right. To, I didn't just, inhale. <sighs> right. Yeah. So it's like, man, this stuff don't affect me, dog. I ain't going to do this. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I didn't I say, screw that. I didn't want to do it again. And then the next time was the year after with Jason Miller. Mayhem Miller. Oh, Mayhem knows how to hit that weed. Yeah, I was. We we were doing. It was doing Ultimate Fighter. We were doing that, and um, one thing we do at night is a lot of people expect like Mayhem when he's not on. He's a man, super cool guy. He's really a very nice good guy. dude. I mean, there's always like kind of like being around Mike Tyson. There's always like edge. Yeah, there's always that edge to where you're in the room with the mm-hmm. with the freaking lion. Like, yeah, he's been yeah. the coolest lion ever, but you still know it's a fucking lion. Right. You know, and, and Mayhem's like that. You're in a room, everything's cool, but he still has, he yeah. can snap at any yeah. moment. So, we're sitting on the balcony at night and we'll just talk and he would just talk about these. And the weird thing about Mayhem is he always watched, like he watched nothing but like smart shit. Like the news, like the Colbert Report, like things like that. You know, he wouldn't watch. I would think he'd watch like 90210 or, <laughs> <laughs> or freaking shows like that. Like, no, man. He, you know, he was a very intelligent guy. And we would just sit there and talk at night. And um, he gave me the nickname that night, too. And freaking, he's like, bro, your first name starts with a K. Your last name is Ush, man. Usman, I'm gonna freaking call you Kush. I'm calling you Kush. Ha ha ha. Freaking the next day on set, everyone calls me Kush. <laughs> to this day, people call me Kush. You're like, I'm is, the Nigerian nightmare. Which is free. And at that time, it the wasn't re- born yet. You know, the name wasn't right. there yet because I didn't start fighting yet. But right. so I've had nicknames all through. All throughout my life, my career, which is that whole Ben Askren shit that he's trying to run with. What well, is he Marty, calling you, Marty, Marty from Nebraska? Marty Why from is he Nebraska. calling you Marty from Nebraska? He calls me Marty from Nebraska. See, this is the thing is, when I started wrestling, I started in high school. My coach was uh, this big Marine dude. You know, I was in shape, buzz cut, white dude. And he comes up to me. I'm five foot two, 100 pounds, soaking wet. And he's like, yo, he's like, what's your, what's your name, kid? And uh, I tell him, buddy, I don't even think he paid attention. And he's like, hey, would you try wrestling? I never heard of wrestling. All I've heard is WWE. I'm like, nah, man. I ain't trying to get hit with chairs and stuff. I ain't trying to do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> so he fucking kind of looks at me. He's uh, like, he's like, ah, okay, yeah, all right. We'll, we'll give it a shot. And our assistant wrestling coach was the assistant football coach. So they kind of would poke at me. Yeah, you come try wrestling. Come try wrestling all through the football season. Then the next year, I freaking, I nutted up. And I freaking just signed up for wrestling. I went in and um, he looks at, he's reading the role sheet, calling names. And he goes, come on, who the fuck, who the, who's this kid? Who the fuck is this kid? And I'm like, that's me, coach. He's like, that's your name? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'm not saying that because my whole full name is Kamarudin. 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 And he's like, I'm not going to say that. Like, Kamarudin. Kamar, Kamar, I'm going to call you Marty. And I'm just like, yeah, sure, coach. I'm, I'm fucking five foot three, 100 pounds. Right. I'm just scared of this guy. And I'm like, sure. I mean, you're a kid. You don't care. You're going to have nicknames all growing up. So why does the UFC shorten your name? To Kamaru. No, I, that's that's what my you parents did. called me. It's Kamaru. Oh. Yeah, my parents called me Kamaru. 
but the full it's like my my name's joseph my parents call me joe joe exactly right. yeah okay. so the you know so that it's it's kamaru that's what my parents have always called me that's what i call uh, myself okay you know but my full name is it's like it's joseph is you know it's kamaru dean so um he's so like, marty yeah he's like i'm gonna call you marty so fucking all right now the whole team is calling me Marty, and <laughs> you know, so <laughs> white people was, are so fucked up. <laughs> no, but man, I I, I love people's names. I love that coach, man. He, he essentially changed <laughs> essentially changed my life, he changed the course of my life. That and, is such uh, a funny thing though to do. Yeah, I'm and, gonna call you Marty. <laughs> That's not even close. <laughs> that starts with a totally different letter. I know, but it oh. it, it seemed to work. It worked so well to where. Um, this is the thing about nicknames. If you fucking, if you're a guy that just a regular average guy and you suck, your name dies with you. You move on. No one cares. Right. You know. But if you're doing something incredible, something spectacular, that name lives on. Right. So now Marty went from just now everyone on the team called me Marty to where people are, knew about the wrestling around the wrestling circuit. You know, in high school, are calling me Marty. Oh, that Marty guy. That kid's good. And then now college coaches are calling like, oh, I want to recruit this kid, you know, this Kamarudian kid. And he's like, ooh, Marty? So now they all know me as Marty. So now I go to college and the coach is calling me Marty. And now the college team is calling me Marty. Now here's the situation with this whole Ben Askren <laughs> thing is, like I just mentioned, if I was just a regular guy who sucked, mm. no one cares. No one knows your name. You die out. Right. But because I made waves, like I was that Marty kid that wrestled at Nebraska that's beating the shit out of everyone. Division one, two, three, NAI, JUCO, doesn't matter. Ben knows of me. So, you know, he's trying to cling on to something to bring it back. Like, oh, this is funny. I'm trying to hide from it. No, I really was Marty from Nebraska. I really was <laughs> whooping everyone's ass <laughs> while I was Marty from Nebraska. I really was that guy. 